Alright, welcome back everybody. Now, let's do this. I healed and saved, don't worry. Where are all my crew? You wiped them out? Every last one? Impossible. One kid took down all those shadow Pokemon we made? Err, in wrecking my factory, you smeared dirt all over my good name and standing. He's <laughs> Donkey Kong! You've done it now. I'm steaming mad, and there's no forgiving that. Ever. Prepare, be prepared to drop. This guy is Donkey Kong. Seriously, look at him.
I want to use bite on it. Wow, that did nothing. I like how it just flipped back. <laughs> Oh god, not again. Now they're both gonna go down. This sucks. Protect yourself! Do we? 
doing that? Everybody's time and 
go through this all over again, all over again. I gotta say, that was a painful battle, seriously. I guy took out half my team. And all I had left was my bird and a poison snake. We've been robbed! Well, that was, that was random. And a wall. That's what I wanted to say. Darn it, give it back! Bring it back! Give what back? These two weird guys took off with a shadow Pokemon. One had like a mohawk and the other had hair like a ball. Gee, I wonder who! Darn it, they made off with the last shadow Pokemon that came off the production line before it shut down. Uh, can we talk to this guy? The abducted shadow Pokemon was a Dragonite. Dragonite! Okay. That ended up being the last Shadow Pokemon to be made at this factory. That means that Dragonite is the last authentic Shadow Pokemon. Well, it's no surprise that those guys stole it. Alright. Now, if I can stop screwing around for, I don't know, Five minutes, maybe? Let's move on. Let's go to Gatchon Port. Jovi's big brother! I saw you on the news! It's awesome! I think you're really cool! Hi, Emily. Where's your mother? There she is. Hello! I did not want to do that! It's lined with difficult looking books. I wanted to talk to the woman! Chris! You read my email? Yeah, thanks for that! I've been waiting for this. What, like two weeks? I don't know. After seeing you on TV, you've been on my mind, Chris. I've come to realize that there's nothing to do but write a novel starring you. Okay. This isn't exactly how I wanted to star in my own story, but alright, let's get this over with. So please, let me interview you. Let's begin right away. Yeah, that text was very necessary, game. Alright, Chris, Chris, Chris agreed to an interview. God, I can't talk tonight. I see, Chris. It was you that saved Professor Crane, the director of the Pokemon HQ lab. Yes. Chris, you were on TV for the Fennec News Story. Have you been on TV before? Yes. Oh, goodness. The SS Libra was attacked because Cypher wanted to get at the Pokemon on board? Yes. Wow, that's beyond incredible. Chris, you must be an amazingly talented trainer despite your appearance. Screw you! Just interviewing you has excited me to the edge of my seat. Your tale is so thrilling, harrowing, and exhilarating! Get away from me, lady! I owe you a huge thanks for agreeing to this interview. Thank you so much. Amulet Coin. I'm getting the feeling that I can write an epic masterpiece. And it's all owed to you. Watch me write it. No, I'd rather not. I got somewhere to be. Anyway. Let's 
to talk to whoever's here. Her? Or... Hi. Yo, Chris! Big news! Real big news! That Robo Kyogre we've been telling you about is finally done! Once Fairbug got down to it and got serious with it, take that as you will, he put together something kind of amazing. Come over here, guy. You have to listen to my grandpa. Hello. Like Chris said, we finally assembled the Robo Kyogre. Truly a work of marvel. Hmm, what's wrong? Is anything the matter? Cypher's headquarters is on Citadel Isle, and you intend to go there? Citadel Isle, huh? When it's a place, when it's on a place like that, it's no wonder nobody has found Cypher's base. The currents around the isle are swift, and the weather is always stormy. The place can't be approached by sea or by air. Hurt. That was certainly true before, but now, however. I get it, Grandpa. The Robo Kyogre, right? Precisely, Per. Our Robo Kyogre will be able to reach the Isle. Alright, we must prepare to launch the Robo Kyogre for Chris. Come, Per. Yes, sir. For once, they're getting along just fine. Hi. Hello? The people at this shop always leave the place unattended. Are they okay? I'm sure they're fine. Oh, email. Hi, Chris. It sounds like the battle against Cypher is entering a critical stage. There is something I would like you to have. Please come see me on the ground floor of the lab when you can. Okay, I think we'll do that in the next part. But first, I want to come over here. Ah, here you are. Over this way. Look toward the pier. That is the Robo Kyogre. Doesn't its blue form thrill you? It's all ready to go. You can leave whenever you're ready. I would leave, but I gotta do something first. Well, have a great day, everybody. Oh my god, why is it so bad? Well, the quality is back to being terrible again. Anyway... Have a great day, everybody! And I will see you all next time for more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Bye-bye!